Morning, everybody. It's 826, and I can get this done a little bit early uh, because there's no real news, uh, economic news this morning until 945. And uh, at 945, we have, let's see, the S&P Global U.S. Manufacturing PMI, and at 10 o'clock, we have November Construction. So, uh, you know, here's the story, though. Um, in yesterday's letter, I mentioned that the S&P cash had not caught up to the futures, which were making a new high. The S&P futures is the chart on the screen. And as you can see, we had that very short day. I mentioned last week on very big volume, um, and I called it churning at the top. Well, this morning, for no apparent reason, no big news, no new wars, uh, no new attacks anywhere on ships, or uh, we are sharply lower. Um, the only thing that I can see at all uh, that could get this started on the downside was the fact that uh, Apple was downgraded uh, to underweight from equal weight at Barclays. The talk was about iPhone sales volume uh, being lower and antitrust issues. Um, so Apple is down. Let's just take a quick look here. Apple is down uh, four and a half dollars, four fifty-seven at one hundred and eighty-seven ninety-six. Down four sixty, two point three nine percent, and it, it's really not a good look. Uh, the other influences, uh, Asia is mixed, Europe is uh, lower, and uh, as I said, the futures when I came down, Dow down 213, NASDAQ down 190, and the S&P was down 35. Uh, right now, all of those have gotten slightly uh, softer again, um, and uh, a look at the actual uh, chart of the S&P future shows you that uh, it's a pretty ugly morning. I mentioned in the letter in my charts with comments that uh, the five day is rolling over. We have a very overbought situation on the basis of the RSI and the MACD also rolling to the downside. Um, you know, I hate to be an I told you so because I've been pretty much early on this, which really is the same thing as being wrong. Um, this reminds me a lot of the um, period of 2021 uh, that we were making new highs through the entire last quarter and the internals were not great and of course on the first day of the year there uh, we turned hard to the downside uh, again almost like somebody just flipping a switch and changing everything from buy to sell um, I don't think we're going to see what we saw in 2022 which was a 500-point S&P move um, in the first month of the year. Five weeks, to be exact. Okay, let's see what else is around here in the futures. Uh, last I saw, the gold was out of oil, up a dollar fifty-eight after last week's uh, softness at the end of the week. Um, we have uh, heating oil up almost a nickel at 257. That's 2%. We have gasoline up 5 cents, which is over 5%. And that gas is up 11 cents. Um, you know, that one has been, has had these little spikes to the upside, but they've given back all of it. Um, 
gold up 320. It was actually up about uh, 16 overnight. Um, the silver is down. The copper is down. Uh, Bitcoin up 3,700, trading 46,245. Um, it looks there as if the 24 7 uh, market in the cash uh, rallied pretty hard on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and this is just a catch up move because this morning Bitcoin is only up about 1100. Uh, but like I said, it's a catch up. Bonds are down over one and a half, uh, actually one and five base. So uh, interest rates are moving higher. And with that, we have the dollar with a sharp reversal here. Give you a look at that. A sharp reversal. And the five day is turning up on that strength. Um, I don't expect this to go a long way, but you know, just like I'm concerned about uh, um, gaps to the upside in the S and P. This gap to the downside in the dollar between uh, 102.74 and 102.41. So uh, that may get filled and we still would not be breaking the lower high, lower low pattern that we see both here and in bonds. Okay, let me just round this up. Uber reiterated as the top pick at uh, Wells Fargo, not doing anything. Tesla um, concerned about the uh, Department of Energy $7,500 uh, tax credit, and that one's down two and change. ASML. Uh, revocation of their export license don't ex they say they don't expect current revocation of the export of the latest u.s export control restrictions to have a material impact on the financial outlook however the stock is 734 down 23 or uh, roughly three percent nvidia down after being named the best idea at Staple, uh, 489.43, down about 6 or 1.2. Estee Lauder downgraded to hold at Deutsche Bank. That one's been downgraded really by everyone. Um, and it's already down from 260 or so to 143. And Baidu trying to acquire joy. Uh, of China live streaming business has lapsed. So uh, they evidently did not get what they were looking for. Okay, uh, Dow coming back a little down 168, down from uh, one, the 200. Uh, the NASDAQ is only down 168, slight improvement from down 190. Um, and I'll get you a fresh S&P in a second. Uh, the S&P has come back a little. It was as low as down 41. Looks like uh, down about 31 right now. So there you go, folks. Happy New Year. I uh, hope you had a good, long, prosperous year coming up and had a good New Year's party. <laughs>